When you see polling showing young people are really disengaged and don't think democracy is necessarily the best form of, you know, politics or the best form of government, that's tragic. And that's because, yeah, we're becoming disengaged and unfortunately our democracy is moving away from being something we feel is responding to us. I am a political tragic and I've always been fascinated in that behind the scenes of what is influencing the decisions that affect us every day. You know, at its heart is the idea that we vote and that's what drives our politics. But I think we all know that's only this a scintilla, a small part of what's actually guiding it. And I've always been fascinated in finding out what are the other things influencing it and how can we push back against that? Because I think unfortunately, most of the things in our lives that we think this is unjust or this is the wrong decision or why does this happen are because of those behind the scenes parts of our democracy that are not influenced by us. It is ridiculous that somebody, you know, like a billionaire mining executive can drop $80 million on an election. That's not free speech, that's an outrage. We should have spending caps, we should have entire transparency so we know at all times who's donating to our politicians, who's influencing them. We should know straight away. There should be limits on how much they're up. The stuff that really is going to make a difference is getting out there and engaging with other groups. Civil society, you know, community groups, just becoming more engaged and being active. The great thing about a documentary like this is it evolves. You don't know where it's going to go. It's not like the end is written at the beginning. And I think the thing that surprised me the most was finding this kind of groups in the community and people who just get together and are doing this amazing behind the scenes work and really passionate people trying to change things and often against great odds. When I was asked to go away and kind of help with a bit of a workshop about this topic, about money and politics, it was after I'd just done a lot of work in the climate space and I'd kind of done a couple of documentaries looking at the climate issue from different perspectives. And the one thing I thought we never touched on but it was always kind of the behind the scenes answer to some of the questions. It's like, how come our government makes such terrible decisions on this? Why are we so bad at it? And often the answer was, realistically, it's because of this web of influence behind the scenes. It's because of money, it's because of revolving doors, it's because of contact between different people and their relationships. That's why we're so bad on this sense. Why? you bang your head against the wall going, hang on, how come it seems so obvious? The result, the answer here seems so obvious, but we don't do it, why is that? So money and politics is a big part of that answer. I hope what people get out of this is that, yeah, there's a lot of problems that really need to be fixed. And a lot of those problems need to be fixed by our political class, our politicians, but that actually there's also a lot of things that we can do ourselves. And that's the really surprising thing here.